point. They're at the perfect point where they're very bouncy on my seat and they feel like they're just wiggling around. Huh? I was practically sitting on them. It was the most uncomfortable I've ever been on the couch. <laughs> Is it, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you okay to continue the ride? What an ever single track in the world. You wanna you wanna switch bikes? Wanna ride this one? Ooh, Ooh I get to ride a sporty bike today. A crotch rocket. A real rice burner. Alright, how do you work this thing? First time on a bike. Can I two finger this clutch? I'm gonna let Josh go. I kind of want to see what my bike looks like from behind. I've never seen it. Normally, everybody else just sees the back of my bike. <laughs> Not really. That bike is, uh, like I said before, that bike doesn't really, what's he on, four? That bike doesn't really compete with sport bikes. It's not a sport bike. God. This throttle is it's a little sticky. <laughs> Where is neutral? One is a little close. We'll go with three. Maybe this bike just doesn't have the, uh, the off-idle torque that that one has. Ooh, that turn's good. I forgot how sport bikes fall over in the turns. Oh, I hate not having mirrors, man. Man, we uh we make fun of Josh a lot for not having mirrors, but when I ride his bike, it really I feel so clueless as to what's going on around me. I can't look behind me at all. I mean, I I got to do that, but then I don't know. Man, I say this every time. Not having mirrors makes me feel so insecure on a bike. Like I'm just gonna get rear-ended or something, or I can't make a lane change because I can't see what's going on. I hope Josh is enjoying the Honda. Wait, where is neutral? There it is. Ah, right into another red light. Wow, it does not have the torque that the Honda has down low. Forget that this has no torque. This has no down low. Like I just opened it up there and I could tell. I mean we were staying right next to each other. She's not a torque machine. She's all top end this ZX6R. That's perfectly fine though. This one's for Josh, who doesn't use the clutch when he downshifts. <laughs> That's how you use the clutch. He, uh, he started doing the clutchless upshifting, and he does clutchless downshifting now, too. It's pretty, uh, yeah, it buzzes a lot. It's just, that bike buzzes a lot at idle. It's just, <laughs> give it a little gas. It, it smooths out. I guess we'll finally open these things up on research. I don't know if I've ridden a bike with a steering stabilizer. I mean, he's got it turned down a lot, so I can't tell. We got the Showa forks. This is my 2007 Ninja 250. What do we got on it? 210 miles, 210 mile an hour top speed, 212 mile an hour top speed, it keeps going up. It's a quack -a sack 216 mile an hour top top. This is actually the achievable top speed during the current ride. We're sitting at 214 mile an hour. 20 
million RPM red line. Oh my goodness. That clutch grabbed pretty late. This EOS is about to kill me. Thank you for not killing me, EOS. Get in neutral, please. I'll have to open her up on the uh, the old research uh, boulevard here. Do some research with the ZX14. We got the green light. Yeah, it pulls up top all right. Once it opens up, it's a lot smoother than your R6 or uh, similar Super Sport. Oh, there he goes. With the blinker on. There better not be a cop up here. Oh, that's only third. What's it go from like a 40? Dude, that front rotor is warped or something. This thing's a lot of fun. It's very smooth. I'm, in, I'm impressed. The power delivery is it's very linear. I was expecting kind of a crossover, like most, most super sports have a where they pick up over about 10k. Am I revving it out enough? I guess so. I thought it would go a little higher. It looked like it stopped at, right at the end of the green. why Josh rides like a, a respectable young man all the time. I too would act like a scholarly gentleman if I had a bike that handled like this. It just falls right over into the turns. I'm impressed. I've never ridden a new ZX6R, only the, uh, the old ones that are kind of ugly looking. It really doesn't come up in first as hard as I thought it would. Like, I'm on it. And it just stays down, man. It's so linear. I'm very impressed. Good sound, not too loud. The Honda's a little loud for my liking, if I'm honest. Ow, I just smashed my nuts. <laughs> Biggest takeaway I have from this bike is how smooth it is. Not at all like the R6. I had an 0304 R6, and uh, that bike's like a turbo car, the way the power comes on on it. Josh cares if I do that. <laughs> it's 
got plenty of power for a second gear clutch up, that's for sure. Yeah, it doesn't... It's strange how it, like... It's very linear. Seating position's uh, pretty comfortable. I'd have to ride it for a long time to give a real review on the seating position, but I'd say it's comparable to R6, R6S. Man, I, I hate to say it, but I think this handles better than second gen R6. But this bike, I don't know, it's, it's feeling pretty good. I think it's a little faster than the R6 too. That's my honest review of the uh, 09 ZX6R. Pretty sweet bike.